you know, growing up, one of my favorite books was called The Physics of Baseball, 160 pages. And I didn't like physics at all. But what happened was once I got into physics of baseball, all physics just lit up the way that the ball curves, the way that spin rates work with speed that work with atmosphere, stuff like that. Fascinating. And I think that in some way, you know, if we want a more numerical society, which I think is on net very good, how can we teach people through the game of baseball? Maybe use TrackMan, maybe talk about some of the stuff that you were talking about earlier with that Japanese technology of having all the numerical speed, spin rates, all that sort of stuff, and actually have kids revel in the mathematical beauty of this sport. Yeah, I think it's a big thing. Uh, Something that was really impressed with over in Japan when I was there last off season is they're huge on the education surrounding the data. Uh, But their culture, their fans want to know more about it. Here, I think uh, one of the biggest things that I hate about the current game is the the, the kind of old school uh, baseball people that talk down on the current game. I don't know how you're supposed to have interest from a young fan when they tune into a baseball game and the announcer's like, well, back in my day, we hit behind the runner and we played baseball and these guys just strike out too much. It's like, okay, now I'm not interested in the product. Uh, Same thing with analytics. It happens all the time. It's like, Oh, these new spin rate guys and launch angle swings and, you know, they strike this and that, and it's bad for the game. They just go on and on and on because it's not their baseball that they remember, you know? And so I think it kills fan interest. And then it also kills, you know, the, the, the interest in being educated about the numbers. Uh, so I think we've done a terrible job as an industry, as far as educating the public and the fans about what they mean, how they're beneficial, why they should care. And, you know, what's, what's exceptional and what's not half the time, you know, you're showing slow motion video on a broadcast and the announcer has absolutely no idea. He's never looked at slow motion video, has no idea. He's like trying to talk his way through it and, you know, can't deliver a clear message. So how do you, how do you educate your fan base to care about something that's an integral to the game right now and will be forever uh, after this point without having your, your announcers, your spokesperson, your salespeople in a way, know the product well um so i think that's a huge disconnect there's some there's certainly some good ones out there and it's really refreshing when you hear them and call a game because you're like wow that's actually valid insight that like they're educating the public while they're you know it's it's a it's a it's a very unique skill set how you can weave in you know education with entertainment uh but it's certainly possible and um i had the same type of experience i was uh ninth grade i i didn't know anything really about physics or anything like that i took an ap physics class with a man named martin kirby and he was talking about how um you know if you like he just he made class fun instead of like if you drop an object off a cliff it's like if a baby falls from two feet how high would the baby bounce and just little things like that that appeal to ninth graders and we think it's funny right but uh all the lessons that i learned about newtonian physics i I saw I'm like, oh, wow, uh, a particle or like a, an object traveling through the air. Like I can figure out the launch speed if I know the distance. And I was like, oh, I can apply that to long toss or, oh, I can apply, you know, torques and stuff like that to my pitching delivery. And so I started trying to apply physics. And that's really what launched my whole uh, like scientific method driven uh, research and development project on myself for the next, I mean, it's been, I guess I was 14 at the time. So, you know, more than half my life that I've been doing it, but that one class, that one education uh, technique that he used to just make physics fun, like completely changed my baseball career. And I think that that's something that should be and can be applied to the larger fan base if you find ways to weave education and entertainment together. 